This video is going to be about the nucleus. The nucleus is a really important organelle because it contains the majority of our genetic material inside of it. So the nucleus, like several other organelles in eukaryotic cells, is a membrane-bound organelle, which just means it's surrounded by a membrane. But what makes the nuclear membrane unique is that the nuclear membrane is actually a double membrane. So that means we're going to have an outer membrane and an inner membrane all the way around the, all the, way around the nucleus. So we'll say that this is the cytoplasm. And then this will be inside the nucleus. Um, and the only place where these membranes kind of um, stop a little bit is at something called nuclear pores. So there, the membrane will just fold around and then go back in the other directions. Um, and so at these nuclear pores, we're going to have a complex of proteins that's going to form something called a pore complex. And these are really important because these are going to provide some specificity as to what is allowed to enter and leave the nucleus. Because if we have our genetic material inside the nucleus, we really want to make sure that that's protected and nothing gets in that we don't want to get in. So now uh, moving on to kind of some things inside of the nucleus. So inside our nucleus is going to be our DNA. And so DNA comes in two forms, really. So you can have it as chromosomes, which is what you're used to seeing um, in these tightly packed kind of X-shaped structures. And so they're going to be in chromosomes when we get closer to uh, dividing, so during mitosis or meiosis. But uh, and the majority of the time, DNA is going to be kind of just this mess of uh, our DNA and proteins, and so that's going to be called chromatin. So for the most part, our DNA looks like this, but then when we get closer to replication, it coils down using the proteins associated with this DNA to make our chromosomes. So another important structure in the nucleus is the uh, nuclear uh, lamina. So the nuclear lamina is going to be found kind of lining the inner side of our nuclear membrane, except for at the nuclear pores. And so this is going to be um, kind of a meshwork of proteins that is going to help give the nucleus its shape and help it maintain its shape. So if we didn't have this nuclear lamina underneath it, then uh, the nucleus would have a pretty good difficult time actually staying, um, staying the right shape and not collapsing on itself. So the last thing that we're going to look at is something called the nucleolus. So the nucleolus is going to be like a dark spot inside of our nucleus. And so in this area, that is where we make our ribosomal RNA or our rRNA. So that rRNA is what's going to make up our ribosomes with some other proteins. And so uh, when we make that rRNA, we have to transport it out through the pore complexes into the cytoplasm. That way it can actually be useful to our cells. So additionally, something else that um, is going to get exported through these pore complexes is going to be uh, messenger RNA, which we uh, get into when we get towards uh, gene expression and protein expression. But uh, mRNA, similarly to rRNA, is going to travel throughout uh, the pore complexes, and it's a really important component of regulating gene expression and regulating our cellular activities. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.